Hey basketball players, today I'm going to talk to you about some high post basketball moves for forwards. So as you know, forwards don't generally play in the high post anymore. They're more so likely to play out on the perimeter. However, there are a lot of plays where they can cut across, do a high cut across the free throw line. And at that point, they're going to get that ball. So today I'm going to be talking about those moves that you can use in the high post. So this first move that I'm going to show you is if you're already in the high post, you were already stationary and you just got that ball. You've done your pivot to the net and you see that you've got a defender on you. What are you able to do? Well, let's get down to this first move. So you've got that ball, you have pivoted towards the net and now you've got yourself a defender. And you really want to attack that net because you know that this defender is more weak on defense than you are on offense, which is why you want to attack the net. So what we're going to do in this first move is to take one hard dribble over to our strong side or towards our weak side. It really doesn't matter. You can do this move either way. But we're going to take one hard dribble towards this side. We're now going to bring our left foot ahead of our right. We haven't stopped our dribble yet. I'm just holding on to it right now. And now we're gonna go and spin dribble. And now we should have an open lane towards the left side of that basket. Now the same should be done on this side where we can go one dribble, two, one, and then two steps and in for a layup. So this is what it's gonna look like in faster speed. Now this move works extremely well because what's going to happen is that defender who's guarding you, he's going to take that step to cut off your drive, you're going to spin around him, you're going to have an open lane to the basket. Okay, so now this second move is if you're doing a high cut across the free throw line and you just received that ball and you've got a defender who is right on your hip. There's one really great move that you can use and that is when you're cutting across you receive that ball and he's right on your hip, you plant that inside foot and then you spin right away off of him and you should have an open lane to the basket. Now, some of the players who used to use this move, MJ used it a couple of times I've seen in highlights, same as Kobe, but you can use this as well. So all we're gonna do is doing a high cut across, receive that ball, plant that inside foot, turn, and then you've got an open lane to the basket. Now this third high post move is going to be very similar to the last. However, we're gonna be adding on just a bit of a different set. So now, let's say we're cutting across. You can do this move in the same spot as before, but this move works really well if you receive that pass before you get over the half, the imaginary half line. So, in the imaginary half line, if you don't know, Ryan's straight through the middle of the court. So, what we're gonna do in this move is if we catch that ball before that half, we're gonna turn, fake that shot, one dribble, step back, and then take our shot. This one has to be done before you get to that imaginary half line. If you do it past that imaginary half line, there's a chance of another defender coming in from possibly the player who passed the ball to you. So keep that in mind, but it can still be done on that other side. Now this fourth move I'm gonna show you is a move that if you were coming up to the high post from the low post. So if you were showing, maybe if you were running, if your team is running a three out two in offense, and you're trying to overload a zone and you're popping up to the high post and you receive that pass when you're in that high post and you want to take a quick shot and maybe there's not much time left on the shot clock or whatever it may be what you want to do you're sprinting up to that free throw line you receive that ball you plant the foot on the inside to the basket so if i'm coming up from this side 
That's going to be my right foot. I'm gonna turn, I'm gonna take my shot. Meanwhile, if I'm coming up from the right side and we're coming up, we wanna plant that left foot first, turn our body totally, and then kick our foot out to get balance and take that shot. I've mentioned this in a few other videos where when you're coming up and you're pivoting towards your weak side, so for me, my, that's my left side, we're pivoting over this way. We wanna kick that leg out when we take that shot because it's very similar to like the ice skaters where if your arms are close in, you spin really fast. But if your arms are out, you're gonna be spinning slowly. That works the same in basketball for your legs. So if you're trying to do a turnaround jumper, that's why you see a lot of the NBA players kick out their leg. That's not to create space. Now it does have that effect. However, the main idea for that is so that you stop your rotation so you have a longer period of time to take that shot. Now I hope that you've enjoyed today's video. I hope that these moves help you score more points from the high post. Now if you feel like supporting this channel, go check out the merch down below. I'll see you guys again next time. Oh shit.